Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Holland. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. And now the Lakers starting group. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. And it's Hachimura in at the three. And for the Grizzlies, they've got Jackson. Desmond Bain out there with Luke Kennard. Then it's Williams. And it's Aldama in a power forward. Richard, what a fantastic matchup we have at the center position tonight. Two of the best in the NBA. It feels like a gladiator fight when two centers go at it. I expect it to be physical right from the start. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of foul trouble. That's always a big story in games like this. From deep, James. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And that's the importance of the three-point shot for LeBron. He understands that by keeping just kind of like a rounded, balance attack, it makes the defense have to respect his range. Now, here's Kanaan. Here's Eldama. Let's a floater go. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And they backed it up with their play. Got production from everyone, and they were able to walk the walk on the offensive end. Here's Kennard following the basket by Anthony Davis. Right side, Bain. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. RJ, if you redrafted the 2020 draft, Desmond Bain would go much higher than number 30. Yeah, he was a steal at number 30, and he would probably go top five in a redraft. He is an elite shooter who continues to grow as a playmaker and defender. The first one falls. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies teams. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy chip on their shoulder. They love to compete. And Bing drops them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Russell finds Hachimura. Outside, James. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. Here's Davis. He tries off the glass, but it's no good. And here are the Grizzlies with it. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. It's his first trip to the line. Yeah, it's good to see him with this free throw percentage up over 80. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. I'm not sure we've seen someone like AD before. Super long, skilled, athletic. He's just a unique talent. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. 
Bain with it, and Hachimura picks him up defensively. Pass to Kennard. It's up a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they only want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Reeves. Passes it to Hachimura. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I love how under control Hachimura is. Able to push his tray through the contact and score. Nice work. Now, here's Kanon. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. LeBron dishes to Russell. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, here's Davis. Drops in the layup for two. Davis has got six. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And hey, Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade-long prime, Greg. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. A moment here now to see the numbers for Jaron Jackson. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Outside, Bain. Six to shoot. Traps in the train. Baines got five now. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Up top, Russell. Kennard covering. Reeves gets the bucket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by six. Now here's Jackson. 11 points for him in that last game against the Nuggets in Denver. And he was also a big factor for them defensively. I think he tallied four blocks in the game. Here's Bain. Pulls up. And James pulls it down. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Into the lane. And he uses the glass on the layup. James has got his second bucket of the night. A little slap on the hand won't stop LeBron from nailing that jumper. Kennard again thrust. Pass to Eldoma. Fires the three. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Back to James. Kennard again thrust the pass to Davis. And Davis throws it down. 
Look at how competitive Davis gets on the glass. He just knows how valuable those second chance shots are. Bain looking around. Has to can on. And he drives in. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Here's Reeves. Down low, Davis goes back up, and the layup is up and in. Davis has got 10. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Kennard again thrust. Now, here's Kennard. Five points in the game. Here's Aldama, and Davis sends it back. Clock at four. Second chance effort. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Out to the wing. Here's Reeves. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. And Memphis making a change here. Stevens has checked in. Gennard against Russell. He kicks it to James. Shot clock at five. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Moravia's checked in. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And this late in the season, Greg, do you consider rookies to even be rookies anymore? They've played so many games at this point. I mean, yes and no. Uh, they aren't as green as they were to start the season, but... Rookies still need a full year to fully kind of learn what it takes day in and day out. With 10 games left, let's see how the playoff race is shaping up out west. Look at the Lakers. Right now, they're on the outside looking in at the playoff seeds. And, of course, there's the Grizzlies. Down four spots from them. And I think for the Lakers, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. And the clock is ticking for them to make that push. It's looking like they'll be fighting for a spot jump in the ball, play. Ball, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. The Lakers with the ball. Lakers leading by seven. This is it to Reeves. Back to LeBron. Over Bain. Gets it to fall from the right block. LeBron's got seven points in the game. In the paint, LeBron James is capable of running right over the defender. That is athletic. Stephens, good. 
If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. LA's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Reeves. Back to James. Outside Russell. Hachimura against Williams. Just five on the clock. A jump hook. Rebound by Williams. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Russell against Kinnor. And a wide open look for Payne. No good on the triple. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Hachimura. Tries again. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Now off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jackson, he's checked in for Williams. Conjar comes in for Bain. And Goodwin subbed in for Luke Kanaw. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Hayes, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for James. Reddish, he's checked in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Russell. And that one falls for Hachimura. Now we know, Richard, you've made your stance on shortening the NBA season very clear. Are you still opposed to the idea? I am so opposed to it. When you think about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, you think about the travel that these guys had to do, and they still played 82 games. They weren't sitting in first-class seats. And now, fast forward 40, 50 years, players can't do that, or they want to shorten the game. I'm sorry. Stick with the history. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball after the miss from Cam Reddish. Conjar. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. The later we get in the season, the hotter these teams have gotten. Your shooting leader since the All Star break in the NBA. The Lakers, number one. No doubt their offense has really hit its stride. I mean, they're making the extra pass and not settling for that first shot that presents itself. And you see that in their shooting percentage. Pass to Hachimura. That ball is in the basket. Now he's shot six and made three of them. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. Now here's Goodwin. He has yet to score. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Dinwiddie outside. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Hayes throws it down. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. Here's LaRavia to end the run and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul Rui Hachimura picks one up no, I tell you what he earned his money on that foul and taking a quick look here guys at the hustle stats for the Lakers the enthusiasm they've brought to their defense so far is something else going after shooters and really hustling to get their hands on shots and also how about the way they decimated the opposition on the offensive glass, getting an impressive number of second chance points. The first free throw is good. Los Angeles making a switch here. Christie's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here now is Dinwiddie. 
26 points for him last game against Indiana. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. Christie can't make it. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Here's Conchar, defended by Christie. Got a hand on it, and that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. the pass to Stevens. Conchar on the wing, defended by Christie. Four on the shot clock. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. And another miss by Memphis. Reddish kicks to Dinwiddie. Pass to Christie from deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Memphis. 1.51 left in the first quarter of the game. With the teardrop, good win. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Kicks it out to Prince. Second shot opportunity, and no good. The Grizzlies trail by 12. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Conchar, defended by Christie. Here's Stevens. Prince with the defensive effort. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Dinwiddie against Jackson. Passes it to Reddish. Forty-three seconds left to play in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Inside, here's Jackson. It's tipped. Reddish with the ball. Still scoreless. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Bobbed up there for Prince. Here's Goodwin. Can't hit that one. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Lakers lead by 12. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. And just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Williams is out there with Santi Aldama. Then there's Jaron Jackson. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's Bain in at the two guard. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. From past the arc. And Davis pulls it down. 
Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Our premier player in this league, Davis, with another huge night showing why he is an NBA champion. Now, here's Bean. Pass to Williams. Here's Eldama. Outside Jackson. Just five to shoot. From 12 feet out, Kennard's shot is off. Lakers leading by 14. And a key guy for this offense, Luke Kennard. One of the best shooters in the game can do it off the catch and off the bounce. Rarely misses a free throw. And when he doesn't have a good look, he makes the right play. Russell against Kennard. The pass to Eldama. Here's the three. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's LeBron. 26 points for him last game against Indiana. And they were just struggling to stop him. They sent him to the line over and over, and the free throws were a big part of the game. And here's Kennard after Torrey and Prince hitting the three. Outside, Bain. Outside, Williams. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now, here's LeBron. He's got seven. He has to Davis. Over Jackson. Some solid defense there from Jackson. The Grizzlies trailed by 13. Passes it to Bain. Got it. Good job in the low post. Bain's got seven. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And a deep three from James. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. <laughs> the three-point shot LeBron has added to his game over the last few years. Well, good. Like the guy needed any more help. Now here's Jackson. Still without a basket. Pass to Eldama. Fires from deep. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Kennard against Russell. Now the pass to Reeves. And he gets it to go. Reeves has got his second basket of the night. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, thank you, Kevin. Desmond Bain went to a small high school. He says, I was the biggest guy every game I played, so I was just getting to the rim. I didn't know how good of a shooter I was until I got to college. Now in the NBA, where does he rank himself? He says, other than Steph Curry, you're going to have to show me someone better. Kevin? Oh, David, I love the confidence. Thanks so much. Now, Russell, following the miss by Jaron Jackson from deep, lets the free fly. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. The Grizzlies trailed by 13. Kennard, the pass to Williams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And, Kevin, we, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And the first one drops. Achimura, he's checked in for Torian Prince. Yeah. 
and both free throws good for Williams. Lakers leading by 11. Russell looking around. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Let's pause for just a moment to see the teams that have been extremely effective with their three-point shooting this past month. The Lakers, number one. And look, that is stat is absolutely no food. It's just a matter of getting hot from long range. They are working hard to find good, open looks from the perimeter. Now, here's Kanar. He's got five. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here is Davis. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Indiana. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. The veteran smarts of James understands how to absorb the contact and still finish. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. One shot. And James, no good on that one. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Now here's Williams. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. James, he'll bring it up for L.A. At one point, they led by 16. And the rejection by Jackson. Hachimura against Williams. Looking now at the numbers for Jackson. Over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. Mm -hmm. And as you said, one run below the leader in block shots. Tremendous motor. He He's simply been destroying opponents in the lane. Now here is Davis after LeBron James's miss. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up.
and a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for Memphis. Here's Kennard. Five points in the game. Outside, Bain. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Bain's got 10. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside, Russell. Three-pointer. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. The Grizzlies trail by nine. And Richard with D'Angelo Russell. He's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score-first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. Lakers leading by nine. Now Davis. He's got 14. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Kennard against Russell. Kennard, the pass to Bain. Takes it from 10. That's good on the jump shot. 12 points for him. My goodness. How about the degree of difficulty on that shot? Here's Reeves. Guarded by Bain. Reeves gets the bucket. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that lead. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. And so it's Memphis with it. After the basket by the Lakers. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. The Grizzlies have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. First free throw is good. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Radish, he's checked in for Los Angeles. That one misses. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Here's Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Jaron Jackson. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls. And we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. And he knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Laravius checked in, and Goodwin subbed in for Bain. The Lakers also with a sub. Dinwiddie's checked in. So he gets them both. And here is Goodwin. No scoring in this one. Pass to Kennard. Altama with the ball. Kicks it to Goodwin. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And they lost the last matchup with this club. And it was really the reserves where the gap in play was felt. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish 
Yeah, that's nice execution, running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Here's Goodwin after the basket by Los Angeles. Moravia passes to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Four on the clock. On the way, Jackson. Reddish grabs the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now, here's Kennard. Guarded close. Can't hit from in close. Los Angeles leading by 14. Then Whitty is surveying the floor. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Now, here's Goodwin. Nothing on the board. Pass to LaRavia. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Memphis. Stevens has checked in. And Conchar subbed in for Luke Kanaan. And then for Los Angeles. Jackson A's, he's checked in for Davis. Christie subbed in for Austin Reeves. Here's Conchar, defended by Christie. Rocket six. Here's Jackson. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by 14. We have a step back. But Grizzlies pull it in. Now, here's Goodwin. Jackson in the corner. He kicks it to Goodwin. The high post shot. The putback. It's good on the putback. Just beast mode on the glass there. He was not going to be denied on that play. Here's Dinwiddie. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Christie. Back to Dinwiddie. Unloads from 13. Kanjar pulls it in. With well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Here's Dinwiddie. There's the killer two-handed slam. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Now here's Jackson. To the left side wing. Here's Steffens. Covered by Hayes. Steffens can't get it to go. Now, here's Reddish, guarded by Jackson. Unloads from 13. Reddish's shot is good. Reddish has got his second basket of the night. A yeah, nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Jackson passes to Stevens. Here's LaRavia. That one's not going to go. Good work defensively by Hatchimer. And there's the pass to Reddish. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Textbook defense. Take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. Now here's Jackson. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Pass to LaRavia. Is it from 19 and good and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down that may be not the highest 
highest percentage of looks right there, but look, you can't argue with results, I guess. Jen Witty for three. And he beats the buzzer. Wow! Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. Talk about being poised under pressure. Big time shot from him there. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for Los Angeles. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it, and is that helping you score? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with you know, how I'm trying to you know, help our teammates. You know, I'm, i got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow as well as keep myself in a good groove, too. So um, hopefully you know, I can do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 18 points, three block shots, and one assist. It's been quite a night so far for him. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Their control of the boards is a big reason for this league. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim. Allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I haven't had at least 30 by now, guys. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half. And he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dumps. He has been aggressive, getting into the painted areas seemingly at will and wreaking absolute havoc on the defense. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive. And it probably has to happen quickly. So the Lakers five right now. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then there's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Rui Hachimura. And it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard. Bain, good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Bain's got 15 points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. Oh, oh my! Oh, nice finish. Okay, wow, old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you, big fella. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Now, Kennard. And here is Bain. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Here's Aldama. It's deflected. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Austin Reeves is checked in for Los Angeles. One shot. Free throw no good from Aldama. Los Angeles leading by 15. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Here's LeBron, 
It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Outside, Bain passes to Williams. Now, Eldama. Jackson up top. He's guarded by Davis. Davis against Jackson. And Davis sends it back. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. Outside, Russell. Davis inside. Kennard covering. And Davis can't get it to go. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Kennard against Davis. And Davis sends it back. Loads it up for Davis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Using outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Pass to Kennard. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Out. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is one. And let's look now at which teams have been the hottest offensively for the past 10 games. The fourth spot held by the Lakers. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Five on the clock. Here's Bain. And Davis sends it back. Jackson against Russell. James outside. The pass to Reeves. Here's Davis. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. For Los Angeles, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid One number shot. to work with One. on the season. And that one falls for Davis. Grizzlies have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Russell against Kennard. Outside Williams. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James.
Down to five on the shot clock. Canard for three. Let me tell you from experience. When LeBron James is locked in on defense, that's a scary sight for a team. Davis kicks to LeBron. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. That's the kind of aggression you want to see when you've got a team on the ropes. The Lakers have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Shots good by Kennard. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Outside, Russell. Pass to Davis. Over Jackson. And it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davids inside. But he still powers through it. Here's Kennard. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Russell. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Here's James. Second chance shot. Shoots over Aldama. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Shot clock at three. Here's Reeves. Got to be careful when Jackson is lurking. More than just capable of sending it back. And stolen by LeBron. Outside, Russell. Floats it up for Davis. Aldama with the rebound. Aldama's got seven rebounds in the game. Kennard with the ball. He's got seven. Passes it to Bain. Five to shoot. On the wing, Williams. There's the triple. A three-pointer is right on target. Williams has got 11 points. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Pass to Davis. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Davis has got nine points here in the second half. This is where you want AD to get his shots. That, that's almost automatic. And the pass to Eldama. Outside Jackson. And they call an illegal screen here. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Tuesday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Wednesday... They'll go up against the Grizzlies in Memphis. And for that game against Indiana, it's going to be a, a bit of a measuring stick for them. See just how they stack up with a team that most would feel has the edge. Russell with a wide-open look. Offensive rebound. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Los Angeles. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Now, here's Goodwin. Hasn't made one yet. He dishes it to Williams. Aldama passes to Jackson. Bain with it. From deep. Reeves with the rebound. And he got a couple to fall from long distance in the first half, but still looking for that number three. 
dishes it to LeBron. Second chance shot, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. James has got nine points in the quarter. Look, LeBron James is just dominant in every aspect of the game. Look, he just bodies people and able to get a second look. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded closer. Jackson misses. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. It's hard to quantify how impactful Jaron Jackson Jr. is on D. He does so much. Yeah, the rim protection is elite. That's why he was defensive player of the year, Greg. But he can also switch out on screens and not look lost. The sky is the limit for him defensively. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Al has got rebound number eight now on the night. Outside, Bain. Jackson dishes to Goodwin over Russell. And again, Memphis no good. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off his shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made a miss. With the drive. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that. Now, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. To the middle to end the cold streak. And he lays it up and in. Good one's got his first basket. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Here's James. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the That's line. Good. Now, look, a coach is going to that's trust good. LeBron it, James to just put up monster numbers because that's who he is. But it is nice to see him get into a nice groove like this. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And some changes here for the Lakers. Hayes, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Reddish comes in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Russell. Free throw, no good for LeBron. Memphis has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Now, here's Bain. Guarded by Reddish. Bain, no good. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Here's Reddish. And Desmond Bain pulls it down. And for Memphis, they're shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Pass to LaRavia. Outside, Bain. Jackson against James. Five on the clock. Here's Stevens. And the rejection by LeBron. A versatile, talented defender. LeBron excels at using his athleticism and length to block so many shots. Back to Prince. Good, and the assist goes to James. Prince has got six points. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Goodwin feeling it out. Lakers with the rebound. Dinwood has got six rebounds now in the game. To the paint. Here's LeBron. But Grizzlies pull it in. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the plate and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Outside, Bain. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on LeBron James. For Memphis, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Yeah. 
shooting two. First one falls for Conchars checked in for Goodwin. And the Lakers also making a switch. Christie's checked in for LeBron. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Bain against Dinwiddie. There's the lob to the hoop. And Hayes throws it down. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Here's Conchar, defended by Christie. Gets it to fall, the bucket from Bain. And that's 19 points for Desmond Bain. Well, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard, he's doing his job out there. Passes it to Reddish for the three. That one falls, coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got six assists in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Here's Laravia. Headed by Prince. Misses the layup. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for Los Angeles. Reddish's shot is good. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. Memphis has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Bain passes to Concha. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And here's a check of the 2K leaderboard and the top rebounding shooting guards of the past 10 games. You look at Conchar, no doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. Well, what he may give away in terms of size to some of the big men down low, no doubt he makes up for it with his agility and determination. That's what allows him to be such an outstanding rebounder. Those little things, those hustle plays he makes, those go a long way towards helping the team each and every night. The shot's good from Hayes. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Bain passes to Concha. Outside Jackson. Here's Laravia. Covered by Hayes. Just four to shoot. Here's Stevens. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Stephens got his second bucket of the game to go. Here's Dinwiddie. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. He didn't even look worried about the time on the clock. Nice way to end a quarter. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we'll be back with you shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got John Conjo. And it's LaRavia in at the power forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. We expect some fumbles with the ball. And overall, I think they've done a good job limiting those slip-ups. And the Grizzlies with possession here. 
And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. Now, Dinwiddie. Here's Giles. Shot clock at six. Reddish. It's off target. He is four of nine from the field. Pass to Jerome. Fades away. A rebound by the Lakers. Hayes has got five rebounds tonight. The pass to Dinwiddie. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here's Memphis. The Grizzlies shooting 34% from the field. That's not going to get it done. Pippen against Dinwiddie. Pass to Giroux. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And with the new CBA, Greg, free agent conversations can start basically the day the NBA Finals conclude. Uh, do you like that move? I, I think it's good to have rules that teams will actually follow. In the past, it was July 1st, and let's be honest, Shoot teams two. were talking to players well before that. And the first one at the line is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Passes it to Reddish. Misses the target. That drops him to 40% now. Four of ten. Well, despite some uneven shooting for him, they're still out in front. To the inside. Outside for Pippen. Pass to Concho. And it goes down two points. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Dinwiddie against Pippen. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines and that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. Here now is Dinwiddie. Shoots over Pippen. Los Angeles with another miss. For Memphis, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Conchar, the pass to LaRavia. And here we go. The fast break with Dinwiddie. Here's the floater. That shot off. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Now here's Pippen. He's tightly guarded. The rebound by Giles. The Lakers have gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. Here's Dinwiddie. 
takes it inside, makes it off the glass. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pippen with it. Here's LaRavia. And there's a whistle. That goes on Harry Giant. That is his first foul of the game. And Memphis making a change here. Williams has checked in. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. The eight-footer. And that's good off the glass that time. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. Dinwiddie outside. And the first one drops. And both free throws, good for Dinwiddie. For Memphis, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Jerome. Here's Laravia, covered by Hayes. They get it again, the second effort, and it's good on the layup. Those are some hustle points, really bonus points when you put in a miss. Los Angeles has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Dinwiddie passes to Giles. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number eight here in this one already. Grizzlies have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And there's the pass to LaRavia. And it's blocked. Here's Christie. Conchar covering. Conchar pulls it in. Conchar's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Giro. Here's LaRavia. From outside, off the mark. A little too aggressive on that shot. He's not the guy they want shooting those tough threes. And Hayes throws it down. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Giroux passes to Concha. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Passes to Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Jerome. Dinwiddie covering. Jerome can't hit. The Lakers shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. It's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Jackson, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Hachimur is checked in for the Lakers.
And the wide open shot from Reddish. Off target from outside. Memphis has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Jerome. Lays it up off the glass. Man, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. The Lakers controlling the game. Dinwiddie left side. Conchar pulls it in. Conchar's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Yep, that one goes in there. Love the power finish from Jaron Jackson, pushing right through the contact. Dinwiddie outside. Shot from 12. Feeds it to Hayes. No good. Shot missing. The Grizzlies have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Here's Jerome. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, easy call. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Stevens has checked in. He hits the second from the line. Los Angeles has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Hayes finds Dinwiddie. Tipped away. Conjure with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Here's Jerome. Rebound the Lakers. Hayes has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Christie. The Grizzlies pull it in. Conchar's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Steffens. The kick out to Williams. And he's good on the three ball. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Now here's Hayes. Up top, Reddish. He's guarded by Williams. Reddish the pass to Hayes. Wants to get it to Reddish and does. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. No good, unable to end this run. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Shot stood by Williams. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Christie. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Now the pass to Christie. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Here's Conshaw. Rebound the Lakers. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than not. Kennard against Dinwiddie. Now Hachimura. Like at six. 
misses the lamp. He had him with that pump thing. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Kanjar finds Kanar. Jackson with it. Working on Hayes. 13 feet away. Yep, it counts. Jackson's got four points now in the quarter. Nice play by Jackson Jr. Just taking what the defense gives you. Here's Dinwiddie. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Memphis has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Kennard, the pass to Jackson. There's 154 left in the game. Here's Conchar, defended by Christie. Conchar can't get it to go. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Dinwiddie's got 10 points here in the second half. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Los Angeles. One of the areas that has been critical for them, the second chance points we've seen from them tonight. A huge factor in this one, Kevin. The hustle on the offensive glass, the willingness to go after those rebounds, that was key. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Anthony Davis. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot heat. To the middle. Williams gets the bucket. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Dinwiddie against Kinnard. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's covered closely. Six on the shot clock. Bucket is good. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. Here's Steffens. He's covered by Hachimura. That's tipped. Kicks to Dinwiddie. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Anthony. How helpful is it for the bench to get some extended minutes like they did tonight? I mean, it's good to get those guys minutes and you know, for the main guys to get some rest, you know. And it, it is good for us to see you know, all the guys to get, get some playing time. And uh, as much as possible, you know, we try to get a good lead so they can come in and, and get some playing time. Yeah, they kept it going, man, and I know that's important. Thanks. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. See you later.
Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three slot. Stolen by Jackson! Now here's Russell. And finished off by Davis. That's inexcusable defense. You must put a body on Davis or you will pay for it. Aldama outside. Back to Kennard. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Russell. Now Los Angeles with it. Last time they met in Los Angeles. They lost the battle of the second units the last time these teams played and lost the game. Now here's Hachimura. Nine points for him in his last game. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. So Hachimura will go to the free throw line. It's going to go on Santi Aldama. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Kennard against Russell. Pass to Bain. Looks it up. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Quick decision making of Desmond Bain. Not wasting any time going up with his shot. Here's Reeves. Out to Achimura. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Here's Kennard. Rebound by the Lakers. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Russell finds James. One for one to start the game. Just a bully out there. LeBron with no regard for the defender's safety. Outside Bain. So Steve, how about the offensive growth of Desmond Bain season to season? B.A., he's getting more assertive out there. Bain, he hunts shots. And he takes shots, which is allowing him to increase his offensive impact. And he drops the first. We know he can pass it. He's a tough defender. And Desmond Bain can shoot it from all over. And Bain drops them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. James, right side. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Whether it's on the ball or off, 
Darren Jackson has shown great awareness and timing as a shot block. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Outside Bain. It's stolen. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Russell. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It'll go on Luke Kennard. Well, Smitty is a ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball, and he knows how to create shots for others and himself. And the first one at the line is good. Well, for the title contenders, Grant, how hard is it to stay focused during this home stretch of the regular season? It is hard, but, you know, the best teams have the strong leadership, B.A. They have guys that help you stay locked in as a group, so you don't lose sight of the overall goal. And both free throws good for Russell. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency, but the talent is all there. Now here's Kennard. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Here's Williams. And it's blocked by Davis. James, outside. Pass to Reeves. Excellent D there from Aldama. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Kennard can't get it to go. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for the Lakers. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. <laughs> a big difference in that one. Their ability to convert from range. By and large, they took some really good shots. And if it wasn't there, each guy was willing to make the extra pass. Trust in his teammates. Now here's Williams. Still no points. That one no good. Hachimura with the ball. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Hachimura outside. They get it again. Davis. That shot off. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Kennard against Russell. Shoots from 12. And another miss by Memphis. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Sends it home from three-point land. James has got a second bucket on the night. The defense has to get up on LeBron from timeout, deep. Timeout. He's a threat from there. And the Grizzlies call time here. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result.
And let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for Jaron Jackson. Russell. And here's Kennard. No points yet. Outside Bain to win the drought. Blocked! No question who's in control of the board so far. And then Russell with the dunk! What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Kennard. That's tipped. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Russell. The rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Russell against Kennard. Aldama outside. The three is up. And again, Memphis no good. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Back to Davis. And Davis slams it home. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. The three ball gets the three ball to go. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Here's Reeves. Now, here is James. Outside Davis. Russell against Kennard. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot by Reeves, no good. Memphis trailing here. Well, Smitty, Luke Kennard doesn't have a complete game, but his shooting is elite. Yes, B.A., as a knockdown shooter, he is one of the best in the business. When he gets it going, he can bury you with his triples. the first. When you look at Luke Kennard's free throw percentage, if you're the defense, you might want to keep him away from the line. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Stevens is checked in for Aldama. Jackson comes in for Williams. And Goodwin is subbed in for Bain. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Lakers in the lead. Now Hayes. Outside Reddish. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's still adding muscle to his frame. Cam Reddish is showing us his ability to play through contact and finish. Reddish against Kennard. Soft touch off the glass. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. Now here's Dinwiddie. A 26-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Even though he got fouled a lot, he never lost any of his aggressiveness. He kept making free throws, and in the process, really frustrated the deep. Now here is James. Seven-point differential. He gets it in there. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Memphis has gone one of four from deep. Goodwin passes to Stevens. Here's Goodwin. He's covered by Dinwiddie. They get it back. Pass to Stevens. Second shot opportunity. And there's the rejection. 
Now the Lakers moving it up. Here's Reddish. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Putting that 7-4 wingspan to good use. Jaron Jackson with the easy catch and flush. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Prince. Here's Hayes. No made baskets yet. For three, James. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Goodwin. It's stolen by James. And slam dunk by James. A oh, guy as big as LeBron can handle the ball that well is a mystery. Here's Stevens. Checked by James. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Lakers. It's all about pace for me. They have set the tone in that area, and they are playing fast, flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense. And also their pressure defense is paying dividends tonight, turning them over and getting out in the open floor and running. The first free throw is good. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. LaRavia is checked in for Jackson. And it's Conchar in for Kennard. The Lakers also with a sub. Christie's checked in. And that's good as he hits both shots. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Lakers. Nine-point game. going for the lob and finished off by Hayes they played with fantastic energy from the opening tip already ahead by double digits trying to run away and not look back snatched up here's Goodwin and a good offensive board and he gets the bucket salvage the possession he's a terrific offensive rebounder Hayes with it pass to Christie piece of it. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Here's Hayes. Four seconds left. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. With this break, let's bring up the teams who've been clicking offensively over the last month. Number one, Los Angeles. This is a team that is simply not missing anything right now, and they are just getting more and more confident in themselves every game. A minute 53 left in the first. Pass to Stevens. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Conchar outside. Shot clock at five. 
<laughs> it looks like they're sleepwalking through the first quarter. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Here's Prince. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Certain things make Prince a tough cover. Strength, long arms, quickness that can surprise you. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. Good from the line that time. 125 left in the opening quarter. Pass to Goodwin. Kicks it out to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Goodwin. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Reddish. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here he goes. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Creative with the ball. Reddish will only get better and better operating out of the pick and roll. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Goodwin. Pass to Conchar. Jackson outside. Drains the triple. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Dinwiddie. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Count it. One for one to start the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Reddish against Jackson. There we go. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. We've got Jackson, and it's Bain in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. James with the ball. He's picked up by Bain. Russell from outside. Grizzlies with the rebound. Here's Goodwin. Pass to Bain. Here's Goodwin. Outside Bain. Five on the clock. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Russell. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting 46%. A decent average so far. Shot from 12. It's rebounded by Goodwin. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. 
Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right, he's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. The Lakers are trying to get back in contention. LeBron James said, we want to win at the highest level. Setting records or passing greats in a losing effort has never been in my DNA. That's never mattered unless it was all about winning. Brian, they're still trying to translate his individual greatness into another title. Yeah, that's the goal. All right, Allie, thank you. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Kennard comes in for Goodwin. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's Memphis with a three. We've seen Kadar steadily increase his three-point shots. Terrific accuracy here. Pass to James. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Hachimura outside. Russell with the ball. Here's Reeves. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Reeves has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Kennard against Russell. Kennard outside. Pass to Jackson. Aldama with it. Over James. And the basket by Aldama. Aldama's gotten his first basket of the night. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Russell the pass to James. Here's Reeves. Pass to Russell. And there's James from the arc. No, four for nine from the floor now. Memphis has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Williams passes to Kennard. And he banks in the layup. Kennard's got nine. And this kind of defense doesn't bother Kennard. Locked in on the task at hand. James passes to Russell. Pass to Reeves. Davis with it. Defended by Jackson. Davis hits. Give him eight. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Kennard on the wing. Guarded by Russell. The 11-footer. Can't get it to go. Only three for eight. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Here's James. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. So and that too. information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. No good on the free throw. We don't get too many generational players. And LeBron James, he is definitely one of them. He hits the second from the line. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Russell against Kennard. Pass to Bain. Fires for three. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got four rebounds now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. He's so dangerous when pushing in transition. AD with the size, the athletic ability, the scoring ability. Terrific finish. Now here's Kennard. Nine points in the game. Williams from long range. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. 
James outside. Pass to Achimura. The layup misses. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Grizzlies. Trailing by 10. Kennard passes to Jackson. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Jaron has size and the ability to finish with either hand. He can take defenders head on. Lays it in off the pretty lob. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Kennard against Russell. Pass to Aldama. To the middle. Stolen by Davis. And here's James. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And here's Kennard. Rebound by the Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Outside Russell. Pass to Reeves. Now Davis. Not going to go that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Hachimura against Kennard. Over Hachimura. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hachimura. Over the last month, these are the highest scoring teams in the NBA. In the third spot, the Lakers. This team has really found a great offensive rhythm lately. Running smart plays, sharing the ball, and racking up points. Outside, Williams. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Two shots. And until recently, Five. it seemed like a Elbow. foregone conclusion Two. that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. And he's good on the first of three. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. And the Lakers making a change here. Prince has checked in. Kennard against Russell. Kennard passes to Bain. Three-pointer. James with the rebound. James has got five rebounds in the game. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus-five advantage for them. Here's Reeves. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Jackson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Williams. James against Jackson. Here's Bain. Six to shoot. That basket 
is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Baines got seven. Impressive accuracy of Desmond Bain. He has put in the work to be a reliable three-point option. Russell against Kennard. The shot by Russell, no good. For Memphis, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Russell against Kennard. The kick out to Williams. You can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Laravia is checked in for Jackson. Stevens comes in for Aldama. Jackson, he's checked in for Kennard. And it's Conchar in for Bain. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Davis. Reddish comes in for LeBron. Christie's checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. And Williams no good on that one. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. And there's the lob. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Pass to Jackson from 12 feet and that one hits the back iron this has been a close game in a lot of ways but they do have an edge on the boards and he hits it and gets hacked That's a good. three point chance here if he can convert love the unselfishness not only can Cam create for himself he can also create for others Goodwin's checked in for Memphis And here's Memphis now. They're on a 13 to 5 run. The shot off that time. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. One thing all scouts love about Cam Reddish. For a wing, he has a huge frame that typically bodes well at this level. Here's Goodwin. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Dinwiddie outside. To Prince. Reddish against Jackson. And Reddish, here we go. Can't get it to drop. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. The Lakers in the lead to the inside. And he dunks it down. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. There's the AT&T 5G slam can. Capturing the moment. Here's Goodwin. He's covered by Dinwiddie. It's tipped. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. With the drive. And it's Hayes, that time on the assist by Dinwiddie. And now a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Memphis has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Inside, here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Sky high, one of his advantages as an undersized score. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Dinwiddie passes to Hayes. Here's Christie. Here's Reddish. Offensive rebound. It doesn't go for him. Memphis has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Goodwin on the take. 
And that's his fourth bucket in nine attempts. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Then when he passes to Reddish. A minute 29 left in the second quarter. Off target at the rim. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Here's Goodwin. Give him eight points now. Now Dinwiddie. 103 left to play in the first half. Here's Hayes. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. One shot. Fifty-six seconds left to play in the second quarter. Driving in. Here's Goodwin. Blocked. Oh, there's the alley. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Goodwin. And the three off target. For three, Dinwiddie. Counted from distance. Dinwiddie's got five now. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Goodwin, no good. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Christie passes to Prince. Yes, and a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got his sixth assist of the night. And the first half now in the books. Lakers ahead. They lead by 13. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 block. Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? The production they've gotten from their bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good, Ernie. As we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that tonight. And who knows? It might get the starters a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshined. How about you, Kenny? What do you think about Memphis? They got hammered. I mean hammered on the board. That's, that tells a lot about this game. The heart has not been there. The sacrifice hasn't been there. I mean, they just don't want it. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? Basketball 101. You've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive. And it probably has to happen quickly. And so in the game for the Lakers, they've got Rui Achimura. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Torian Prince. Then there's Jackson Hayes, and it's Davis in at the five. Oh, 
and Jackson with the defensive effort. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a 13-point game. Kennard can't get it to go. The Lakers shooting a solid 47%. Russell deciding where to go with it. Pass to Achimura. Up and over Kennard. And the basket by Achimura. Achimura's got his second basket of the night. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Williams on the wing. Clock at six. Here's Bain. And Davis with the block. The nasty streak is coming out for Anthony Davis, taking pride on the defensive end. Some changes now for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Hayes, and Reeves is subbed in for Prince. Aldama's gone one for three on the night. James passes to Russell. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Just 10 games left. Let's see the playoff race in the West. Taking a look at the Lakers. The season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. And, of course, the Grizzlies, they're just four spots down from them. When I look at the Lakers, they had some lofty goals to start the year. But they may not have the roster to hang with the league's elite teams. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Shot clock at six. Kennard passes to Williams. It's not going to go for him. Achimura with the defensive effort. Rough start to the third quarter, but give some credit to the defense they're facing. Another shot. Here's James. Uneasy two on the layup. James has got 12. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, you want rim protection? We've got it right here. The leading shot blocker since the All-Star break. Anthony Davis on top. Tough to take the ball inside against him. His focus right now is at another level. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Second free throw, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And that one's good. James. LeBron is playing well. The ageless wonder. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for Ja Morant. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available. Working on my body to get stronger and on the court being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Brian? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Allie. So it's the Lakers now. After the basket by Memphis. Down low. Here's Reeves. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Reeves has got five. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. And the Grizzlies call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied.
Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Kennard. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's James. Kept alive. And then Davis slams it in. Oh, my. See, you can't do that without great athleticism. And that's one thing AD brings to the party. Russell against Kennard. Who poked away. Stolen by Davis. Here's James. And it's James with the jam. Nice pass from AD. Wanting to set up his open teammates. Payne, the pass to Jackson. Kicks it out to Kennard. Poke loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. Davis with it. Guarded now by Williams. Yeah, good instincts by Russell on defense. Using his quickness to his advantage on this end. Kennard against Russell. Pass to Jackson. Here's Williams to halt the run. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. The Lakers have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Here's Reeves. Five points in the game. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Williams against Tachimura. Pass to Kennard. Outside Bain. From the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. The team trusts Bain to hunt shots and not to waste touches. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. And he lobs it up. Hachimura against Williams. Ooh, Williams with the block. Outside Bain. Hachimura with a rebound. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been great at 58% on the third. And what has made D'Lo a max player? He puts constant pressure on the defense. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Los Angeles. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generate a lot of points for them. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. Free throw is good from Russell. And both free throws good for Russell. Now here's Kennard. He's got nine. Outside Bain. Jackson outside. Fires the three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Outside Russell. Bain against Davis. Over Bain. That one rolls around and rims out. Second chance shot. Oh, and Jackson with the block. To the paint. And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. The second effort. And Bain lays it in. Bain's got six in the quarter. What toughness on the glass. I like watching Bain be active on the offensive boards. Pass to Reeves. Now, here is James. 
And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Stevens is checked in for Memphis. Jackson comes in for Kennard. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. Now here's Williams. He's got 13. And no good. Good work defensively by Russell. Hachimura against Jackson. Offensive board. Tries again. Hachimura with the bucket. Getting it done inside. Hachimura's got his third bucket of the night. Williams against Russell. To the inside. Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. Here's James. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Hey, no good. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Davis, the pass to Russell. Over Williams. The shot by Russell, no good. Memphis has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Pass to Williams. Switch, 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 switch. Takes it inside. And that'll be Memphis's ball as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies able to keep possession here. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Laravia comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Conchar in for Williams. against Dinwiddie. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. There's an aggression and a confidence to Desmond Bain's game. It helps him get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Here's Christy. Dinwiddie outside. Stevens with a rebound. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by 18. And Davis with the block. Here's Prince. And it's Laravia with a rebound. Memphis has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Outside Bain. This one for three. Sinks it from distance. He's got 17 points. All about converting your opportunities. He just hit his second three of this half. Third of the night. Davis, the pass to Prince. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson outside. Pass to Stevens. Kicks it out to Bain. Five to shoot. And the 18th footer right on the mark. Bain's got 12 points now in the quarter. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Dinwiddie against Bain. Davis with it. To stop the drought. Yes. 
And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. 18 points for him. Give it to AD. He stays focused and he works. That's how he's able to beat good defense. Here's Stevens. Kicks it out to Jackson. And again, it's Memphis for the three. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got five. Reddish misses. Coaches have to love an eager team first player like John Conchar. Absolutely, B.A. Guys like him are so useful. Conchar looks for any gap in his team's game, and he puts in the work on the floor to fill it. Here's Dinwiddie. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Turns on the attack. Davis controls the rebound and the putback. And the Lakers lead by 12. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Now here's Conchar, guarded closely. Dinwiddie against Bain. To the wing on the left. Here's Stevens. Prince grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. falls for him. Goodwin's checked in for Bain. The Lakers also with a sub. Hachimura's checked in for Christie. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Memphis has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Pass to Stevens. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Prince. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Here's Davis. Got it. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, he bodied them inside. Davis isn't shy about fighting for it. Here's Goodwin from deep. It's off. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And the Grizzlies shooting only 36% so far in this game. They've got John Conchar, Jackson out there with Santi Aldama. Then it's Jackson, and it's Goodwin in at the point. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Now here's Conchar. 
Just five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. There's Jackson with the three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his 16th rebound on the night. And that one's good. Davis has got 24 points. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Here's Goodwin. Conchar outside. And there's the call on Rui Achimura. That's his fourth foul of the contest. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams is checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Reeves is checked in for Dinwiddie. Left side. Pass to Goodwin. Just five to shoot. Blocked! A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Reeves. James finds Russell. Here's Reeves. James with the ball. There's Davis with the three. The rebound by Jackson. Fantastic perimeter defense. His coaches and teammates have to appreciate this kind of effort. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Hachimura with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. And the layup is good. Davis has got 26 points. A.D. has added plenty of bustle over the years, which helps him finish through contact. Pass to Aldama. Well, Steve, the most recent CBA increased two-way player slots. Now teams can carry three instead of two. How do you like it? I love it. The two-way player rule has been a huge success. Lots of guys have been discovered that way, given a chance to play in this league. The Lakers with the ball. After the basket by Memphis. Kennard, he's checked in for Memphis. Russell against Kennard. Now here's Russell. He's guarded closely. Good. And the Lakers lead by 20. They have no answer defensively inside. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pass to Williams. Lays it up and banks it in. With their high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's groin as a distributor. Kennard against Russell. Up and over Kennard. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And they're able to recover. Here's Russell. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Goodwin. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. Reeves, the pass to Davis. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Davis has got 28. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Bain. Pass to Kennard. The three, and the three-pointer goes. This is what Luke Kennard does. Gets to his spot and knocks it down. Outside Russell. Now James. Back to Russell. The three is up. The shot's good on the assist by James. 
James has got his third assist of the night. Memphis has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Kennard passes to Jackson. And it's been a pretty amazing trend, Steve. Five straight years, the MVP has gone to guys 6'11 and up. So much for small ball taking over. I love it. The big guy is back in play, and it should be. We have some guards that are extremely talented, but these bigs are playing big, and they have skills like a small guy. Not much is better than a LeBron James flush. Kennard with it, outside Bain. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. Reeves, the pass to Russell. Now Achimura. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds in the game. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Rui Achimura. Shooting two. That free throw misses. And he sinks the second. And James has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Outside for Russell. Hachimura, right side. Let's the three fly. That shot's good. Russell making the play. They have hit the boards hard this half. Those second-chance points are mounting up. Timeout call. Memphis. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. Here's Kennard. Williams on the wing. Kennard against Russell. Kennard on the wing. Clock at six. Hits the trifecta. He's got five points now this quarter. Talking about heating up. At halftime, he had just one made from beyond the arc, but he's drained three more since. From 11 feet away, the putback. It's good on the putback. And the Lakers lead by 21. And here's Kennard. 
And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. Here's Reeves. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got four assists now tonight. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Now here's Kennard. Aldama, the pass to Kennard. Up and over, Russell. Nice shot by Kennard. Such a crafty score. Kennard is comfortable at getting wiggle room to shoot it from mid-range. Pass to Achimura. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Man, good whistle there. Free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Greg. So true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances. So it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. Now here's Aldama. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. And Russell's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Again with the block. Oh, you can't throw the weak sauce around him. No, you can't, B.A. I mean, he's sending everything back. Here's Kennard. Outside Bain. Pass to Jackson. Five on the clock. Shoots over Davis. Rebound, the Lakers. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Now James. Here's Reeves. Puts up a three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Aldama's got five rebounds tonight. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. And he's going for the oop here. And Davis with the block. Hachimura outside. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Shot from the wing. That one's good from Achimura on the assist by Davis. Achimura's got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Kennard. And with expansion whispers continuing to grow, Smitty, if it happens, you figure there would have to be some realignment. Yes, B.A., most likely a team will move to the east. Presents a chance for the NBA to change the layout of the league. Might add a division and find ways to cut down on travel. 
Anthony Davis teammates are looking to get him involved. He is on fire right now. Kennard passes to Bain. Pass to Jackson. And Davis with the block. Here's Reeves. Outside Russell. Back to Reeves. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. A good look from Bain. Cans it with nobody near him. Bain's got seven points for the quarter. He's doing it all in this one. Desmond lighting up the scoreboard. James outside. The Grizzlies pull it in. Aldama's got six rebounds now in the game. Memphis has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Williams. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth one, too. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Jackson. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And tonight's win will give them an even 40 on the year. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Anthony Davis. Boy, such a big factor in the game tonight. His intensity on the boards. Even when guys put a body on him, he somehow still beats him to the ball. Shooting two. First free throw is good. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Stevens is checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Laravia comes in for Aldama. Jackson, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Conchar in for Desmond Bain. on the second so he makes them both and so James will bring it up for Los Angeles we've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter and it's good two points excellent effort on the road they've literally sucked the energy out of this arena and when you're on the road you can't be tentative coming into a game like this I thought their aggressive approach was the difference now here's Conchar. Off target with a jump hook. Now here is James. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time.